here. I want to give an update on my latest hydrogen project. I, uh, because I'm putting it into a semi, I wanted to go big with it. So I went bigger than I've ever seen on the internet. I went 12 inch by 12 inch on the plates. And let me show them to you here. These are the plates. And what I designed, I wanted to see if I could get a, uh, a plate system that did not have to worry about a spillover at the top uh, where a lot of the plates they have an open hole that goes through the very very top of it and uh, if the water level gets up to that point then the current will leak over well what I wanted to try was to make a, uh, a zigzag uh, system and tested this out and it works quite well and this is actually 12 inch by 12 inch um, I did a lot of experimenting with materials this is actually uh, pond liner and uh, this doesn't work that well actually not not pond liner that shower pan liner that doesn't work very well at all um, I even tried EPDM uh, foam by accident I, I uh, got the wrong stuff and I, I used it anyway and that worked uh, a little bit but it kind of smashed down to nothing so now I'm changing this out to the EPDM rubber eighth inch thick um, and how this is designed is in here the, uh, the, the here's the end caps yeah, you can see what they look like the big monsters there with an in and out and the, the liquid then comes in and goes into here but the idea is that any current leakage is going to have to come down through this channel and work its way all the way across into the hole and what I did is I took this marine goop and this stuff works excellent and what I did is I lined this I, I put a layer of this on the metal I didn't have to do both sides of the metal just one side of the metal and then I stuck this onto it and what that did is it made sure that the current did not come off the plate and get into the hole to the next to the next uh, to the next plate below it and then when we take this off you'll see the next plate is exactly the opposite where the hole is over here so that any current leakage coming off this plate has to go through this hole and then down here and then through that hole it causes a zigzag on it and what I found is that the uh, it allows the current the, I mean the water to flow freely through the the cell and but the current there's absolutely no leakage on this thing I can run it continually and it only raised its temperature by about 10 to 20 degrees and I've been very very happy with it I even had some days where I have it running and with the air conditioning going and the fluid will actually become uh, cool to the touch. Also because of the sheer size of this, the end plates where a lot of guys will put on one connection or two connections, I actually have four connections on this, uh, quarter inch little tabs notched in there that electrical connections can go to and I've got them on all four corners because what I found is because of the way I'm running this and allowing the fluid to go all the way to the top to the current is conducting in from all the corners then and this has worked out really well what I'm using is is um, five neutrals on this and I'm tearing the whole cell apart because I'm actually going to double its size and uh, see how much output I can get out of it it's running very very efficiently and I'm very happy with it and uh, hope it helps with your plans Thanks. Okay, here it is. This is the beast. These plates are 12 by 12. There are seven plates to each set, double sets, five neutrals. This is the one that uses the zigzag for uh, keeping the current from bleeding over. They are aspirated on both ends. There's an in and out on, on one end. The divider in the middle is it has the in and out for for this cell and in and out for that cell and then the uh, in and out over here too because each each cell then is vented front and back the fluid flows front and back on these things also on the back here all of my connections are spring loaded this is a hundred psi springs that way if the uh, gaskets tend to, to to compress a little bit the springs will take up the compression on it and that she be 
12 by 12 plates and there are uh, 14 of them in here and we'll give her a test and see how she does <laughs>